Hello everyone, this is Anna and I'm coming to you on Sunday. Um, just want to share a very small haul from Tuesday morning. Um, and first of all, I want to show my card. On my other video for my birthday, I didn't get a chance. I forgot to show my card that my husband gave me. Isn't this lovely? He's so crafty. And this is the card that he gave me for my birthday, which everybody knows flowers and butterflies are my favorite, and it's a gatefold card. So, without further ado, let me show you. Oh, and another thing before I show the Tuesday morning haul. I was working on, I haven't finished this yet. Let me sit this down. I'm working on, this was a silhouette file. And I'm just to the point where I'm, I painted my paper and I'm trying to make a birthday cake. And I'm going to decorate it, but I haven't finished it yet. So that's something that I've been working on. But let me get to what I purchased from Tuesday morning. Like I said, it's a very small haul. I got these um, cookie cutters, and they're butterflies, but I'm not going to use them for um, my um, cookie cutters. I'm going to use them to use on my polymer clay or... Um, resin. I'm not sure if I can use the resin in here, but I can use the polymer clay. And they, these are neat. I've got some more. I didn't do a video on them, but um, there are three different sizes of um, butterflies, and you can use them in your polymer clay or your air or dry clay, whatever kind of clay. And I think this is unique because. You don't have to worry about cleaning the edges off of them. Um, you can just push it down and it'll do make the um, imprint. So I got these butterflies. And I got this die here from Tuesday morning, this morning. I mean, well, after church, my husband took me to Tuesday morning. And I got this die. And I also got this die. It's called um, Ornaments Tags 2. And this is what it looks like on the back. Let me see this over here. I also got this one. It's called Spiral Blossom 2, where you can make your roll flowers. I got this one also, and this is what it looks like on the back. I also got, um, this one is called Leafy Squares. Sorry for the glare, everyone. And this is what the back of that one looks like. I was trying to build my dies up, and I think I got enough to work with now. But I didn't have it, and I had the cuddle, I got the cuddle bug, the e-bosser, and the Grand Caliber. But I didn't have really that many dies to use them. But I now have some dies that I can use. Sometimes we just rather use the the e-bosser e -bosser or the grand caliber or the cutter bug to cut out shapes. Even though I do have the silhouette. But sometimes it's just easier to pull from your dies. And I got this one and it's called T-Drop Circles. And that's what it looks like on the back. And I got, um, this one is called Pipcot, I guess I'm not, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, um, Edge Circle, I got this one, and this is what it looks like on the back, and I got, uh, um, Embossed and Folder, which I really thought was neat, this one is called Twisted Hearts. And the other one is like a motif. Um, I'm not really sure what, but that's what it looks like. And last but not least, I just got this little six inch rule. It was only like 69 cent. And it kind of helps you when you're making your cards and you need a straight line. And then I got the So Easy kit from We Are Memories. And I can kind of 
use this to guide me a straight line where I can sew on my cards. So thanks everyone for watching and I'll be back soon with something else. Bye.